not the right one. <laughs> Word. Yeah, don't think there's one. any Yoshi players in this set. Nope. Stop that one. It's Chocolate Mario plays Mario. <laughs> I have heard that. Yeah, that would make some sense. Yes. Now we are just going to come up here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, shit. Which one is mine? I got to go by time, basically. The only ones I did not put a title are my game, so the earliest time is probably mine. <laughs> Let me allow it. This is the game we are looking for right now. Game coming up. We will find out soon. Come on. Uh, it, was, it was a lot trying to handle everyone. Now you see why I was kind of trying to like get matches done before I started streaming. Give everyone a chance to also watch. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know a lot of people that participate in these online brackets love watching their VODs back. Right. I know. I appreciate hosting it for everybody, too. Yeah, definitely. Free for all! Okay, now if we see Mario, this is going to be this. Okay, I believe this is the one. Right on. Oh, that is a chocolate Mario. Yes, a very chocolate Mario. And a purple hat, Pikachu. Mm -hmm. I know, I've been loving the new remix colors, especially the purple stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Me going. Yeah, the remix colors are a great addition. Alright, we're gonna get right into it. Pikachu versus Mario. Probably gonna see some fireballs, probably gonna see some up airs. Mm -hmm. There's some spacing going on. <laughs> Whacked by a fireball right out the gates. Yeah. There's going to be spacing around Fireball. Pikachu taking a really aggressive stage stance there. Mario getting in on neutral with the Dare and Air. Really a good combo. Hits, hits him with the, the AAA. Down air into grab. Waits for the tech. Very good. Good reaction. Just going to play around ledge a little bit. Probably could have gone for the up tilt there, but waiting for the grab also just as good. Up smash might have meant to be an up tilt. We'll never know. Hunter does have a broken ass controller. Yeah, it's uh... <laughs> Sometimes I will say every old smash is on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Back throw, edge guard situation. Mario pretty tricky to edge guard for some characters, but Pikachu definitely very, very capable of doing so. Really easy for Pikachu to go deep on there and threaten Mario, so he has to go right to ledge and just grab ledge. A um, couple mix-ups Mario can do, but definitely pretty difficult to get back to stage against a character like this that has so much yeah, dominance see that, see in the air. Yeah, just standing there and I, I just take the hit. That's me yeah. trying to dash anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mario connects the down smash, ending the stock, tied up 3-3, three to three, slight percentage lead for Pikachu, just going to be spacing around center stage here. Really nice connection on the up air right there. Doesn't get any follow-up out of it, though. Not enough to lead to a combo. Up tilt, obviously such a strong defensive tool. Ooh, looks like Hunter was going for the double aerial there and it didn't quite come out in time uh wins neutral with the down tilt though into the edge guard mario gonna be in a pretty tough spot here going with the down to recovery but not gonna be enough to get him back to stage pikachu with the stock lead hunter starting to run away with this game this is a pretty important stock for the momentum of the game mario ooh, maybe just wanted to come back and shoot fireballs there but ends up getting the nair oh the up smash in neutral so hard really hard to land those against pikachu who can just keep his distance with his tail um, does get the knockdown on the side, plat, into the down air. Okay, yep, comes in with the nair. Looks like Mario's really struggling with uh, Pikachu's defensive options in this game so far. I mean, you know, you can't really blame him. Pikachu's defensive options are really, really strong. Up tilt is really difficult to play around. Um, using up air defensively is really difficult to play around as well, especially once you start getting to those higher percents where it's actually going to lead to a combo. Ooh, the back air. <laughs> because that back air landed at 0%, uh, not going to be a true combo into grab or anything there. Mario getting the up smash right out. Uh, pretty good reaction from him. He's going to be back into neutral, playing around side flat. Ooh. Oh, the up smash in neutral actually connecting that time. Looks like Pikachu got a little bit too close. Good DI from Hunter managing to get away. Another, the double up smash on ledge. <laughs> Jonathan Mario absolutely fishing for up smashes right now. Just going for it. Uh, Pikachu going to just hold center stage. Yeah, Mario going in with that forward air. Going to be really, really hard to get past that up tilt. 
Uh, edge guard situation, pretty tough, but he's gonna land the forward air. Pikachu is coming back from that, obviously. The Immortal Rat, nice snap to ledge. Pretty good recovery from Pikachu. Fair, ooh, maybe an up air after that connects. I'm not really sure. Hard to say. The light forward air, the softest forward air you've ever seen. Ooh, this is gonna kill, right? This is a light rat, yeah. Last dock situation, Chocolate Mario looking to bring it back right now. Really good control of the momentum. Uh, definitely some risky plays, but that's kind of what you need to come back from a situation like that. Uh, probably gonna see some fireball. Ooh, he goes in with the down air. Up till Nair. Is that gonna kill? Not quite. Mario's probably coming back from that unless he uses yeah. jump. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the, snipes. <laughs> the tragic snipe. You hate to see it. No. Oh, man. Uh, I really believed in the comeback, too. That was a tough one, definitely. Close match, though. That was a pretty good game. Definitely back and forth. Uh, definitely looked at one point that uh, you were going to run away with it, but, I mean, he did a really good job of getting control of the stage back, kind of, you know, evening things up. You know, I feel like that's a lot of Smash players' problems when they're playing this game. Like, oh, they have such mm -hmm. a great lead, and it just, just drastically goes away in, like, a minute or two. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, the game's absolutely brutal. I mean, it's so easy to throw leads by just playing a little bit too aggressive, a little bit yeah. too eager, right? Yeah, this game is... Way more for the uh, defensive player and than it is the aggressor. Although you can be aggressive, you just gotta be fucking balls to the walls. Looks like Chocolate Mario is going to swap off of Chocolate Mario to Fire Flower Mario. Yes. Pretty interesting changeup. Definitely changes the matchup in some ways. Maybe trying to remind himself to fireball more. Maybe, maybe just <laughs> you know mixing up the colors to refresh his mind. I never even thought of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Fireball a pretty good tool, but it is really hard to look for those Fireball opportunities against Pikachu. Um, definitely easier against characters like Falcon. Oh, yeah. He's going to be right to the side platform. Just kind of fishing for an up air. Ooh, nice down air. He's going to miss the jab grab, but does get the grab still. The shield pressure from Pikachu, really difficult to deal with. Oh my gosh. Those those raw up smashes, I mean, he's looking like Captain Falcon out there, getting these these reads on your approaches. Some fireballs. Ah, oh, missed to ledge. You hate to see that. Chocolate Mario taking the lead here in the beginning. Gonna go back into neutral, maybe shoot some fireballs. One fireball into run up. Gonna be pretty hard to connect there. It does get down air, but no follow up from the Pikachu. Edge guard situation from the Mario. Yeah, up air, the percentage just a little bit too low for that up air to lead into anything. And a pretty good combo coming out from Pikachu. He's gonna get whacked by Mario and his lunch money stolen, unfortunately. Uh, right back into neutral. I'm gonna see who can connect first. Mario looking for probably a stray up air. Pikachu, I wasn't gonna say looking for a dash attack, but does connect the dash attack into the dash grab. Really good reaction there from you, I would say. Oh. Oh, it's such a strong option. I mean, Pikachu's jab grab is a thing of legends. Uh, Pikachu getting some more lunch money stolen. Mario's doing a pretty good job of controlling stage until he loses it to the trade. And then the back throw. I mean, you can only exist on stage so long until Pikachu will just randomly back throw you, right? Right. I believe that is true. <laughs> yeah. Nothing will pretty, survive. Pretty good dare to open things up from the Pikachu, but gonna be a really good turnaround for Mario. Uh, doing a really good job of reversing that momentum, getting him into an edgeguard situation, and pretty clean dare connection on the miss snap to ledge, I think. Fair off state. Oh my god, everybody's insane. You you guys are crazy. What was all of that? Why? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I, I tried to be different, is all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Pikachu and Mario fly at each other like that. That was, that was hectic. Entertainment value, you know? I, I'm doing more than just trying to win a tournament here. <laughs> think of the fans. Think of the fans. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty good control uh, a lot, a lot of center of that stage. Was, like, too. Like, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, definitely. Mario getting a pretty clean combo into up smash. One of the one of the trademark combos from Mario. Uh, one of the standards, I guess you would say. Not sure if that was supposed to be an up smash on that platform. I suppose it probably was, given Chalk and Mario's been throwing those up smashes out like there's yeah. no tomorrow. Um, pretty de decent enough DI on the fair to get out of that. Not really uh, super crazy DI. The forward smash is going to connect him. We've got another last stock game. This is a pretty good set so far. 
definitely could be anybody's game here. Just going to be playing around. <laughs> Gets up tilted though, unfortunately. Probably want to see a little bit more DI on those early up tilts to get out of that a little bit faster. And probably want to see a jump, uh, like a short hop up air from Pikachu a little bit faster as well. Once you get up to about 30, 40%. Not a Pikachu main, so I don't know exactly the percent, oh, but... <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, another one of those Rob smashes. Not going to connect. Back into neutral. Both of them just hanging out. Oh, back throw. Situation for Chocolate Mario. Not going to make it to top. Oh, he does make it to top platform in time. Up air into forward air. Pretty solid connection. Connects the fireball. Ooh, reads the double port to the top platform, but ends up uh, not quite getting to back to legend time. Oh, the raw forward air. Is that going to kill? Not quite. Oh, my goodness. Pikachu up air. Nope. Still not going to do it. 139%. This Pikachu will just not die. Another up air. I refuse to die. <laughs> yep. He's just going for it. All right. Back on the ledge. Is he going to let him back on the stage? Just throwing fireballs. Playing it patient. He's got the percentage lead, but that doesn't mean too much in this matchup. Back there off the stage. Another edge guard opportunity for Pikachu. Could definitely wrap the game up right here. Really hard to get back on the stage. Oh, gets does the long get up. No, the up smash in neutral. Another edge guard situation for Pikachu. Pikachu at 161%. Any stray hit will definitely take. Yeah. And then I Hunter just jump. kills himself. Yeah. Of course. Uh, how did I not see this coming? <laughs> You know, give it to him when we can, you know? But yeah, that's a, that's a real oh problem that happens too much. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was absolutely hectic. Man, what a tragic ending to such a good game, too. I mean, it really felt like there was a, a pretty fun neutral going on there. I mean, you guys were definitely swinging on each other pretty hard. Um, and that was a pretty uh, a pretty tough uh, way for it to go. Yeah. Oh, my God. He's going vanilla, Mario. <laughs> I think I, yeah, I switch here. Oh, you're gonna character switch yes. on game on game three. He goes yeah. Falcon. Okay, I mean, Falcon Mario. I can speak to a little more. I've I've played it a bit more. I'm not super good at the matchup, but I would say that fireballs are a very big part of it. Uh, I've played Jaime a few times. I've played some other really strong Mario's, and I find that fireballs are very very difficult to deal with. And right as we open up, he gets fireball fireball into grab down air off stage into nair. Very good edge guard right away from Mario. Classic textbook Mario versus Falcon, right? That's pretty much exactly what you want to see. Um, he is just going to go right for side platform to deal with that invincibility. Falcon doing a really good job of getting that up smash. Not going to be fast enough on that third up air, though. Does land the straight forward air, but lands on the side platform without hitting him with the forward air. Uh, that's that's going to be definitely an easy follow-up for Mario there. Edge guard situation. Well, not edge guard situation, but on the edge situation, I should say. Just going to be some fireballs from Mario. Mario jumping into center stage. Probably not a great move since Falcon's dash is so fast. Just going to be waiting for the next big combo opportunity here. The raw, the Randy F smash on the ledge from Falcon. Definitely a very, very ballsy move against Mario. Yeah, pretty easy edge guard situation. Nair, this should be a forward smash. Nice, yeah, it closes it up. Four stocks to two. My God, Chocolate Mario balling out in this game compared yeah, to the last one. What, what will I do here, you know? Like, shit. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems, seems like Hunter is definitely gonna wrap up this stock. Um, just in, uh, based off my initial perspective of this dog, it looks like Hunter's trying to play a little bit more around the outside there and does a really good job of the falling up air. Is he going to get the up B? He is. That's going to be an edge guard situation. Definitely not enough to finish. Is he going to land the edge guard? Ooh, maybe an up air connects there. Normal get up attack. Back into neutral. Fireballs. Big grabs. Ooh, fireball. Another edge guard situation for Mario. Oh, doesn't connect it. I think maybe down smash there does. He might have meant to, to be fair. It looks like that was a down tilt. Not really really sure pretty pretty hard to uh oh the fastball oh my god this is hectic this is a pretty crazy game it does land the up air but trades with back air not going to be a favorable trade there putting mario in an edge guard situation Ooh, mixing hunter up with the tech pretty good tech to the left there instead of to the right or in place another edge guard situation hunter going deep for it not getting it but landing the dug hug on the recovery really really sick all right, two stocks to two stocks. It's all tied up. Hunter doing a really good job of playing more on the outside. Talking Mario feeling really eager here to go in and ends up eating a down air because of it. 75%, 71%. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Really good approach mix up from Hunter right there. And just going to wait to bait that up tilt and land the forward smash. Hunter in the lead now. Great, great turnaround this game. 
up air from Mario, down tilt, probably gonna close the stock out. That's gonna be it. Last stock situation. Will Hunter murder himself again? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Uh, gonna be a pretty good start here. 38% nice weight on the roll. Really, really good weight right there. That's exactly how you want to play that situation. Mario does not have a lot of amazing options right there when he gets right up. And he's gonna be scared for sure. Down smash, the, the Randy down smash into the, into the forward throw. Another edge situation, Falcon managing to get back on the stage. Ooh, and that is actually a really interesting situation, is uh, punishing the fireball startup. Okay, we're gonna do a regular get up attack. Oh, and there's that neutral up smash again. Uh, coming back to bite him, really good snap to ledge. And the forward smash to punish it. A good comeback from you, sir. Very well played from both players. Very, very close set, really good games. Got me nervous as well too. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, those those are some those are some knees weak uh, mom spaghetti moments there for sure. Those were those were good games. Those were fun. Yeah, um, I know. A really interesting aspect of that matchup is the startup of Fireball. Mario has to be really, really careful he doesn't start Fireball too close to Falcon. Uh, because of, obviously Falcon is fast, uh, mm -hmm. he can do things like get in with uh, Dash Pivot Bear, uh, you know, Rising Nair, or in the case of what we just saw in that last stock, a Up Smash, right? Yeah. Um, it is obviously a really, really powerful tool, as we saw a lot of situations where Mario kind of dominated the neutral game there mm -hmm. um with just fireball into fireball into grab or fireball into thinking he's going to grab you into another fireball you know things <laughs> things of that nature but definitely can be something that can be turned around very very quickly if the mario is too reliant on the fireballs or does them too close to falcon yeah honestly i like when you called out the punishing the startup of the fireball actually i just thought of that right then and there when i did it actually so <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was like, it's you know, a really if there's any character that's fast enough, it, it is probably going to be Falcon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's a it's a really important part of the matchup. I feels like, and um, I think that was a good way to capitalize on it. Definitely. All right. So yeah, good on. games to Chocolate Mario. Yeah, no, he's a very good player, but.